few months ago I got invited to remake the original Mario Party with a total of 50 game developers. The reason for this number is because the original Mario Party game has 50 minigames, so each game dev remakes one minigame. I quickly looked which minigames were still available for the taking, and as you might already be able to guess from the short intro, I chose the minigame Bombs Away. Bombs Away is a 4 player minigame in which all players are standing on a tiny island and are getting bombarded by cannonballs coming from the ship in the back. The island tilts when cannonballs land near it and the players have to stay on the island. So the plan is to make a game where you can still see that it's the theme of Bombs Away but you can still give like your own twist to it. Obviously we aren't allowed to use assets that are owned by Nintendo so all the assets have to be made by yourself or have to come from like a public library. Initially the plan was to make the game completely in 3D with unique and funny characters. Well, I have never really made any 3D models, so I was in for a treat. Let's try this blender thing out. G'day. If you are new to Blender, then welcome. Perfect. The other hotkey that you should memorize um, is the tilde key, which is that key underneath the escape key. Um, there's one there that says view What select. did I just so, uh, click? It'll bring up a pie menu. Please hold on, Blender uh, Man. Most <sighs> Finally got that fixed. Time to continue. <sighs> Not again. So basically that was a disaster. I'll just go back into my comfort zone and make some pixel art characters. I still wanted to make it partially 3D though, so I decided to just mix 2D pixel art with a 3D landscape. I decided on making the characters in the form of hamsters, because hamsters are just too adorable. So to sum it up, I already have to learn some 3D aspects. And I also have to learn a different input system since this game has to be able to be played locally. But I still wanted to give myself another extra challenge so I would learn something more. So I ended up adding character customization. After I planned everything out, I opened Unity and got to work. First of all, I wanted to get the main mechanic to work. So I made a simple rectangle, which represents the player for now, and coded some player movement to make it able to walk around. Then I added the ship and the island and uh, made the ship able to shoot bombs near the island. Once a cannonball lands near the island, the island gets forces applied to it depending on where the cannonball actually lands. And next to that, of course, the player will slide off the platform uh, accordingly. After that, I tried to uh, change the island shape a bit and tried adding a texture to the island. But what is that texture? Don't worry, that texture ain't staying for long. I also added a texture to the water to make it more wavy. And next to that I wanted to give a little bit more of my own twist to the game. So I added a small mechanic that isn't in the initial game. Where at the end the ship will shoot a torpedo at to the island. And once the torpedo reaches the island you have to memorize your location basically. Because you get blasted into the air and you have to make sure to land on the island. For now it might look simple to memorize where you are and land back on the platform. But once there are four players bumping into each other, it's slightly more difficult. Then I opened up Acepite to make some pixel art and made the main character, a pirate ship and some pirates of course on the pirate ship. Then I animated the character and put it in the game. As you can see, I also got rid of the hideous old island and put a simple low poly island with just flat basic colors, which in my opinion works really well together with the pixel art characters. The next problem I had to tackle was adding controller support and making local co-op work. So I followed this super helpful and easy tutorial by Samyam and I got it up and running really quickly. So all of that was actually all fairly easy, it didn't take me much time to set this up. But now that I could spawn in like different players I wanted to add the character customization, which was way too difficult to implement. 
The character customization itself is fairly easy. I actually made a tutorial on this, I will link this in the description, but considering all the UI, it ended up being very difficult to implement. I basically had to bind some UI elements like the images and the sprite of the player actually in game. For now this wasn't actually that much of a problem, but later on when I wanted to add some computers to play the game, this got a lot more difficult. So I drew the art for 10 different hamster variations and also 10 different accessories and added them in. Next to that I gave each player a different color outline to easily see which hamster you are. And now up to 4 players can play the game. You might say, oh, you don't need the outlines since you already have character customization. But the problem is that two people could make exactly the same hamster so you could still get lost in who you are. I obviously did some more polish, like making the cannonballs hamsters as well, some screen shake, particle effects, an actual intro screen, some cool screen transitions with bubbles, sounds and a lot of other different things that I'm probably forgetting. And lastly I added a simple AI for hamster enemies which will fill up the lobby if there are still spots available. So even if you don't have any friends, <laughs> you can still try it out. Uh, I uploaded the game on itch.io for you to try out and of course the link for this is also in the description. So like I've said we've been remaking this Mario Party with a bunch of other developers and a couple of videos and games are out already from the other game devs. I will try to add all of these to a playlist and add it to the description as well. I had an absolute blast working on this project and if people enjoy this enough I might turn it into a full on multiplayer party game with different types of mini games. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen here, if you did make sure to like the video, comment on anything you would like and subscribing is also very much appreciated. I hope you have a nice day and hopefully see you soon. All right.